All right, what's up guys? Just got my bike out of the shop. That's the story for another video. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. I have a bunch of carbon I'm about to install. Gonna do a little time lapse for you guys. Also got a new windscreen and a couple other pieces you'll see in the final result. So far I got the tank piece on. The fitment's like, it's like whatever, maybe uh, I would say like a seven out of 10. No big deal though. And I also got the front piece on. And I would honestly say about the same thing. The clips in here are like super weird, completely different from how the clip works on stock. And then I had to like kind of hold this piece up while I was putting these pieces in because they like the fitment's just kind of weird. But overall, looks pretty good so far show you guys tomorrow It'll look way better in the sun and then uh took the front wheel hooker off I'm gonna do that next so i'll keep you guys updated all right what's up guys it's the next day maybe it's actually two days later three days later i lost count to be honest but i got all the carbon on looks freaking hard not gonna lie. I've been wanting to do the carbon for a really long time, honestly. I just like wanted to get everything else out of the way, like rear sets, the rear brake discs, the chain adjusters, just all the little stuff. I was always gonna do carbon last. Let me know what you guys think of the carbon. I honestly think it looks freaking dope. I didn't go with gloss carbon because I wanted it to still kind of match the mat of the rest of the bike. I thought gloss kind of looked a little bit weird. I mean, some people like gloss. It does look good, but it's just not really my thing. I think the mat looks pretty good. One thing I really like though, is when you get close, obviously it looks like carbon, but like the further away you get, it just kind of looks gray. Like it matches the rest of the bike. And I think that's pretty sick. Cause you know, you're from far away. You're like, oh shit, matte gray R6. You start walking closer to it. And then you're like, oh dang, like this guy got the dry carbon. Yeah, I'm gonna put some cinematics after this clip. Show you guys how everything looks, how it all came out. Let me know what you guys think.
also got a new helmet. It's a Scorpion EXO R1 Air Carbon Edition. This thing's super freaking sick. It's my first carbon helmet, super light. I had the Icon Airfly after or before this, and honestly, that was just like pretty lame helmet. So I'm glad I got to retire that. Step up to like an actual quality helmet. This thing is like night and day way better than the other helmet that I had. So if you want a review of that one, let me know. Get that in the works for you guys. But yeah, it matches all the carbon on the bike, dry carbon. You know how I do. Freaking super excited that I got this helmet, honestly. And it came with a dark windscreen, which is dope. But I think I might get the uh, the reflective one.